Zip Devils, get all back to answer some more goddamn questions. First, we got an order question. Just one for the day before we get to the next video line. And it is from Mark Cole... Mark Oli... God damn it, Barbara. <laughs> Mark Cobley Marks. Probably still pronouncing the goddamn wrong. Sorry about that. Hey, J-Dog, what's up, Barbara? Love the channel. Calling out the posers and roasting canoes. That's what we're here for. Question. Has there been any bands that you think sucked in the beginning and progressively made better music? Or are you too busy listening to Korean and Corn with a Bengals jersey and a flat brim New York hat? What do you mean, dude? There's a fucking dress code? What does it matter what clothes you got on? That's what I've been hearing lately in a lot of the fucking videos. How about a shout out on the channel? I've been following since the beginning. Was in the first 500 subscribers. <laughs> like you kept counting where you subscribed. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Sound out every letter in my name, and that's the pronunciation of it. It sounds homeboy, but I'm not. So Marco Marco by. Maybe I'm getting right. But yeah, it does sound. I don't know if I sound fucking old boy. As far as uh, bands that I think sucked in the beginning and progressively made better music, I mean, did I already? Like, yeah, this shit gets answered quite a bit. Uh, like I said, Satanic War Master is the biggest band that comes to my mind. Um, but it's usually all the other way around. So I kind of already answered that for um, for um, a few times. A few people to ask that and it's just a different goddamn, just worded a little differently. So, but number one that always comes to my mind is Satanic War Master. And then I've thrown out a few others that I'm already fucking forgetting. Um, so the next goddamn video line is, if you're a fan of Grand Belial's Key and Satanic War Master, does that make you racist? Question mark. 3.2k views. What's with the bozos? If it says racist in there, that gets views. Like, in my opinion, pretty much anyone that's watching that shit, but they're not watching the other videos, get fucking lost. Brah, brah. I mean, glad you're, I'm glad you're watching, but why... Why does it have to draw you in? Like, why does it got to be some girl gossip shit to draw you the fuck in? And the only reason I told you, well, you titled the video like that, J-Dog, because I was like, well, obviously, apparently, one of the questions or is insinuated, uh, it was a topic of the fucking video. Uh, one of the topics, anyways. So, yeah, I do put it in there to, like, sound like an interesting title. But at the same time, why is it anything that's kind of like girl fucking drama that those are the ones that get the most views? It's just, it's fucking ridiculous. And I'm not talking about the regular devils that watch every video. Obviously, you guys wouldn't fucking know. I'm talking about the ones where... They probably only watch one, two, three videos because, oh, what's the drama ones? Oh, little bitch ass girl shit, bra bras. Anyways, what the fuck do we see? Shit, speaking of girls, here's a fucking goddamn uh, female comment. Don't get money. Don't get any of them, goddamn it. We're saying Carissa P. My husband is the metal enthusiast, but I enjoy answers to questions. Hopefully, I gave pretty good answers. <laughs> That's debatable. I am mainly here, though, for the open mouth dick face. <laughs> I'm a dick face. <laughs> Fat ball hating douche canoe poser pink panty tampon wearing boy rants. Yep. Some hey, somebody's got to call him out because hey, is there any other metal dude, metal yeah metal YouTube channel that's fucking calling these fucking bozos out? Not that I've seen. There is some of my goddamn uh, way because I'd love to get a goddamn laugh. See some other uh, opinion jars. You know, it's funny too because uh, again, a lot of this shit was just uh, common knowledge to me. But it's funny in the comments, my buddy uh, Dan Merrill, he, he just told me. Today, actually. So, yeah, I've been watching a few of your goddamn videos, and he's like, whoo, dude, but then I go through the comments. He's like, I don't know how you do it. He's like, I'm laughing my ass off. He's like, man, there are some clueless motherfuckers in there. I was like, oh, I know, dude. And just, they just like, like, what are you talking about, man? Like, just shit like <laughs> that they don't get, like, Slayer's got a rap album. There's a trash code. Just all this shit. And do you sign raps now? And just all this stupid shit people are saying. It's like, dude, what are you guys fucking talking about? And he even agrees. He, and he's got 50, 51 years old. So he's been listening to metal longer than I have. Has a bigger collection than I do. And uh, knows more shit than I do. That's for goddamn sure. I have no problem uh, admitting admitting what I'm fucking uh, defeated. Um. So, but even he says, yeah, stuff like, for example, the Dane Uborgers and Cradle of Fuzz. I brought up, dude, like, don't, don't you agree? Like, dude, in the 90s, he was there when they put out the first house. It's like, was anybody throwing these up them under the bus? Like, look at these pussies, this pussy black metal. Like, dude, nobody was. Nobody was. It's like, the only guys that didn't like it were the people that were just in the death metal, brutal guys only, like the Brian Baxter and shit. It's like, that's it. Everyone else, he's like, if you liked black metal, death metal across the board, or especially if you like black metal, you like them. So any of these fucking cabal fucking just posers, in my goddamn opinion, he's like, they didn't exist. He's like, oh, they liked them too. 
So that's why anytime I see these guys coming in, like, oh, look at them bringing up these black metal bands to cradle of bills. Like, dude, it tells me you're 15 years old. That's exactly what he says. Like, dude, a lot of people in the comments, he's like, either if they're not, ex he's like, they have to be young. They have to be between 12, 15, 18 years old. He's like, they just flat out have to be for the shit that they're saying. He's like, oh, he's like otherwise that's concerning. He's like, if a 40 year old man is saying some of that shit, he's like, that's, dude, box of fucking chocolates. I was like, oh, I know, dude. I was like, well, personally, I think I like those comments the best because it makes for kind of like debate and going back and forth. And it seems like that's where the funniest conversations. But, dude, I, I look at it and I'm just like, again, I've said it a million times. I was like, dude, I don't know why you guys get by in life. I was because a lot of this shit they're saying, I was like, I literally 100% fucking knew at age 13 years old this year. And nobody told me. It was just, you, what the fuck? You just know. It's, it was self explanatory. So, yeah, he's, he's, because he's just kind of like, finally peeking in on the channel because it's kind of like why would why would he watch my shit all you gotta do is can just call me up and see me in person so it's one of those deals just like for example if one of my brothers would do a channel would i watch it probably not why would I, if don of the dead was do a channel would i watch it probably not because i can see the guy all the time if i want to know his opinion on something i'll just ask him right so it's kind of like that syndrome so i'm sure that's the boat he was in but i think you know heard a couple topics checked out. <laughs> he's like oh, comments man oh my god he's like this is someone that's just completely fucking just clueless yep i know Oh, I know. Joe Dinkins. How does anyone regulate blood sugar without counting carbs? That guy's nutrition is a moron. Dude, that's most of them, I know. Yeah, and if you want to fucking, if you're looking for actual results and nutrition and shit like that, hire the fucking dog. I hear actual, like, yeah, certified nutritionists, just like personal trainers at the gym. Most of them are complete fucking trash. I see what they're doing. I'm like, the fuck are you doing? Just get under a fucking barbell, you goddamn wimp. They have them doing some crap I've never even done in my entire goddamn lifting career. Like, just complete waste of time, garbage nonsense. But yeah, this guy that's fucking just losing his goddamn pussy over fucking his elevated A1C. <laughs> he's asking my opinion. I was like, number one, dude, this is like the 17th time you've asked me. I told you what the fuck you need to do for free, mind you. And he's still talking about it like six months later. He's like, that's not fixed yet, bro. He's like, this should have been fixed in three months. I was like, if you're on my protocol, you'd be fixed in, I was like, either six weeks if you really want to go fucking ham. Like, like, what are you doing? And then he had to ask him questions like, how many carbs are you eating? Well, I don't know. My nutrition doesn't count. What, what, oh, dude, get fucking lost. You know, just, just can that shit, Ed. Hope you're not paying her anything. And I think he is. Fucking unbelievable. Brandon Zero 2, J Dog, question. When I was a young kid, like six years old, I question every single thing, but have kids who think differently. I tell them there is no, there is no God. It's bullshit. Yeah. I thought, I dude, I thought that was self-explanatory too, but be a good person. Racism is bullshit. Politics is bullshit and never trust strangers. Do you deal with that type of shit? Uh, not really, not on the regular, because I mean, uh, again, I, I kind of have it a little bit, I guess, easier or lucky in that sense. One of the few things I guess I got lucked out on is just, you know, being here at Hells and shit. It's, there's only a couple handful of employees. And most of them that we hired was people either related to, like, or I knew prior. I mean, there's only, on a daily basis, I only see two people on a daily basis that I didn't know prior to hiring, for example. Um Everyone else, I either knew fucking for uh, years way before or was related to in some way or friends with or some, something like that. So, and it's only a few people here. So, and we're not even around each other. All like, like, I'm either in my office or I'm, like, it's a big separate too. So there's times like I barely even say hello to anyone. Right? It's not because it's being rude. It's just, just didn't cross paths with them, right? So what I'm getting at is I don't have to deal with the average person. Like the average person that goes to their job, let's say they have an office job. It's like 200 employees. Well, Greg, you're probably not interacting with all 200, but you're maybe 20, 30. So you, you, the stupid shit's going to come up. So I'm in the lucky position to where that just kind of doesn't come up. And the only time I am around regular people, like large group of, group at a time, is at the gym. But I have my headphones on. And um, nobody, no one's going to really start a conversation like that for the most part. And it hasn't, at least. Um, not stuff like that. But have I dealt with it in my lifetime? Yeah. But, dude, that was that, was that kiddie-ass fucking high school shit. So for any of you young fucking devils that are watching, because I know there's some. Um, and there better be more than I'm thinking based on some of the comments that I made earlier that I'll chalk it up to. You're 14 years old. Um, again, saying stupid shit about Dave Newborn or stuff like that. It's like, dude, you better be 14, 15 years old, bro. If, if you're 30 or over, just 
get lost, go back to school. Because, dude, you're fucking dumber than shit. But um, anyone that is in fucking school, uh, just just know. Like, dude, once you get out of there, all that stupidity and, and that uh, just what kids care about and shit. Like, you won't even be that, – that shit's gone once you get out. Like people care what T-shirt you wear. I have on and stuff. That that's that's all fucking gone from most. Now, if you're walking around with a fucking Jesus is a cunt shirt, yeah, okay, that's that's you're, you're kind of asking for attention. But for example, this shirt, Embalmer, there was blood everywhere. In case you happen to give a fuck too, because it was asked behind me the mortician chainsaw dismemberment, and then this Embalmer, there was blood everywhere. Those might be because it was a question that was asked, uh, and I forgot about this one. Is uh, those might be my favorite uh, cover art pieces of all time. They're definitely up there. Probably are. Yeah, but favorite artists and all things I've been asked multiple times, even though I asked it. Wes Benscott, especially the classic Wes. Uh, seemed to, his latest pieces seem to be more downhill, but uh, but the mortician shit, like the embalmer, um, that shit was fucking great. Um, but like, yeah, for example, a shirt like this, you know, it's a pretty gruesome shirt. It's, you know, cool ass fucking art. Nobody's going to say anything. I can go out with, I can say with absolute confidence, no matter where I go today, I mean, this would be the shirt I wear at the gym and just train in, wear it there. Let's say I wore it to dinner, went to the grocery store. Well, I, I'm, I, would, I would bet $1,000 cash not one person's going to say anything to me. High school, though, there was a 50-50 chance. So, again, unless you're wearing something outlandish where you're asking for attention with a, a Marduk, fuck me, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is a cunt. Um, even like a DSI, like Once Upon the Cross shirt, which I do have that, you're kind of asking for attention. Um, I granted I've worn that out and about and nobody has said anything to me, but uh you're running the risk. You definitely run the risk. So there I'm not saying there's no attention, you'll never get a, a comment on a shirt ever, but it's way, way less. I can count on one hand on my belt ears how many times I got a comment on a church t shirt. One fucking hand I can easily I'd probably still have fingers fucking left standing up. High school though, pfft, it was damn near daily. So like I was saying, all that kitty shit, once you get out, that all goes it's just completely goes away. Completely fucking goes away. <laughs> Little Lover 90. I do love the rants, but J Dog can be a long winded motherfucker. Laughy faces. Hey, got to squeeze in those 20 minutes, right? <laughs> 20 minutes a day. <laughs> got to fill it up somehow, right? <laughs> this is, this is kind of, yeah. Dean H. If you like Cannibal Corpse, are you a necro pedophile? Exactly. The necro pedophile off Tim and Mutilated. One of the best cannibal songs of all goddamn time. They, I, I used that analogy in a uh, very early... It might have been this, this a Satanic War Master Racist video. Maybe I used the analogy in that. I'm like, so listening to Cannibal Corpse talking about raping and murdering women, a vile album, raping and murdering men, does that mean you're supporting that activity? It's the same mentality. You can literally make that argument. So you listen to a band that they sing about race, race or even <laughs> a lot of them, they don't. You just hear through the grapevine on their own personal time, they're racist. You, you get... You, the, People are bitching and whining that you're supporting them. Oh, okay, but you're allowed to uh, support rape and murder. It's the same analogy. Hating uh, Jews and shit like that, they're talking about, or hating blacks. That's not okay. But okay, yes, I hating Christians. Not slaughter. I hate Christians. How is that any different? That makes no fucking sense. So that's why when anybody, that's part, I guess, again, that was common sense when you got in the metal too. Again, more 13 year olds walking around on the goddamn channel. <laughs> the thing is, with this comment, I, I, I think it is grown ass. But as a matter of fact, I know it's fucking grown men for the most part. Coming in and saying shit like, yeah, I don't support these bands like GBK and stuff like that just because of their uh their views. But but did you but but it's okay to like Munslaughter? It's okay to like Deicide? It's okay to like Marduk? It's okay to like Cannibal Corpse? How how is that any different? It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Now I know some dummy's gonna say, well, uh, Cannibal Corpse, it's just more about horror and gore and you know, movies and shit like that, not taken serious. Well, number one, you can make the same argument, okay? You get bands that are singing about that. I, I made that argument. The racial shit. Maybe they're singing about scary topics. How do you know that? How do you know that they're actually racist? Maybe that's just something they're singing about because it's an extreme topic. So you can make that argument. So number one, you don't fucking know. Number fucking two, the cannibal shit. Then you see the outsiders looking in. They don't know that. They see a butcher a birth shirt. And the heaviest thing they've heard is goddamn Pantera. And they don't fucking know. They just assume you're maybe you're some psychopath maniac. Now you in the know, like, dude, come on, dude, you're fucking stupid. That's what we're thinking. The GBK guys and the Satanic War Masters, that's what they're looking at you, dude. You're fucking stupid, dude. But again, if you want to make the argument, okay, deicide, gunslaughter. I know they're not fucking 
serious to the degree where they're going down burning down churches, but I know they don't like JC. I know they don't like Christians. It's okay to hate them, but it's not okay to hate a certain type of race, race or other religion. How is it any fucking different? It's the exact same fucking thing, dumb dumb. So as far as I'm concerned, if you're ripping on any of the racial bands that are, if they even are, because a lot of times I'm like, hey, they are, I don't know, this thing's in a different fucking language. How the fuck can you tell? There's no Nazi symbols. So how, you, how do you even know? Well, let's just say that they fucking are, and you're hating them for that. As far as I'm concerned, take your D's side, your nun slaughter, any of your other, your Mardukes and shit, chuck them in the trash, get the fuck out of the scene. You got no business liking that either. You're a complete hypocrite. Complete fucking hypocrite. Just get lost, bro, bro. Merciful fate, same thing. King Diamond's a fucking Satanist. To all, a lot of his albums fucking just are denying Christ, denying Jesus Christ the deceiver, singing about Christians and shit like that. Get rid of them, bro. Get rid of them. Hateful towards Christianity. You can literally make that exact same argument because that's all your guys are doing for the other side. That's literally all you're doing. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, pack your bags, get the fuck out of the scene. You got no business listening to metal. You don't, you don't get it. Completely out of loop. <laughs> Decomposed. <laughs> Wish the gay boys out here would stop asking health and fitness questions. I don't know, dude. This gay boy, that's my those are my favorite ones to ask. <laughs> I answer. Let me talk about who's racist again for the 10 million fucking time. To be completely fucking honest with you, is uh just a topic, uh, for example, like training, health and fitness. That's something like that's my interest that I'm actually following on a regular basis. The race, that doesn't even cost me. Like, I don't even care. Like, it doesn't even enter my fucking mind until someone brings it up. And again, the person that does bring it up, I'm looking at just, just get lost, canoe. I mean, you're, you're, my IQ is going down just being next to you. So it's like, a lot of that shit, I don't even, I, I didn't care to talk about it. Just get brought up. So I just talk about it because that's what's ass. <laughs> what is this? Dennis Jordan, J Dog, how do you not know about Lunk? L U N K. It's bodybuilding mortician worship question. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. That's a band? Lunk? No, I I literally no clue what you're talking about. Richard Pittman, 666, question marks. What are your thoughts on the brutal death metal band sepsism that was around in the mid 90s, early 2000s from LA? It's really some sick ass shit. Uh, the first album's great, and I heard. It was Eric Martanio, or how the fuck you pronounce his last name. <laughs> uh, but Eric, he sent me a link that um, it's coming out on vinyl, finally, which I will get, pick up some suit one way or another. I sent the link over to Chase to make sure to get him in stock. If he stocks it for hell, that's how I'll get my copy. If not, then I'll have to go, you know, whatever, whether it's eBay, just whatever, uh, the actual site. But uh, it's just funny because I wanted to put that out for on vinyl for quite some time. But it's another one of those things. I mean, I didn't. I didn't like pursue it deeply, like try to get a hold of the guys and shit like that because others I had set up. And again, like a lot of those things, dude, unless I'm actually talking to the guy, I bump into them on accident. I just have very little interest or drive to set shit up or if they come up to, or if they email me on their own, just like the hate piles and shit. I, because dude, I know it's not going to go anywhere because now don't get me wrong. Some have 95% of them don't. Again, it's, it comes down to this. If I pursue it. A, no reply from the guys. B, they fucking reply. Uh, I don't own the shit. You got to contact fucking Bobby at fucking at, at Nuclear nu nuclear Blast or whoever the fuck owns it. C, they are up for it. They do reply. Yeah, bro, let's fucking do it. Hit that iron fist. Okay, bro town, I need goddamn files. Never hear from them again or I'm on it, bro. And years go by and you haven't fucking got them. Still waiting on Lord Gore files. Still waiting on Frightmare files. That was agreed to over a year ago. Got nothing. So that, that's where most shit goes. So um, when I don't even have the contact, I don't pursue it that much. So I'm like, dude, I, I, this, this is, I already know this is a 98% chance of wasting my fucking time. Um, but like if sepsism with the contact does, hey, I'm like, fuck yeah. Because that has happened. That's how, I'm almost positive that's how the morgue happened for us. I was talking about the Max contacted us. And again, next day has files. I and mean, again, this is, this is the way it should fucking be. Like, exactly. Somebody that actually knows what the fuck's up. Um, uh, Rotting contacted us. With Keith, either either somebody sent the email through the um, questions or he commented on a video. And I said, but it was through the, uh, uh, through the goddamn channel. 
And he pulled through, had files, everything like that. So that's another exception. So there's exceptions and there's stuff that happens. But like, for example, like the hate pile, somebody was saying, yeah, I'm talking to Phil, told him about it. Well, where's he at? He didn't email me. And again, if he does, the hate pile scenario, I can tell you 100%. Label owns it. Who's an Olympic or who the fuck, who really put those CDs out? They own it. So he has no say. It's either going to be that or he's going to say fucking yes. And he has no materials. I, I would bet fucking money on it. If I'm wrong, I prefer I'm fucking wrong. And hit me up, send me them files, bro. Tell them, bump that fucking iron fist and let's get it the fuck out. But I'm just saying, 99 times out of fucking 100, it isn't. So glad somebody else at least got the sepsism out because it's something I wanted out. Um, the first album, Perulent Decomposition, is, uh, I think it's really good. The second album is good. It was kind of like, eh, same old, same old. And uh, the songs weren't quite as good, but still a good album. And I think they, I, they might have a third one too. And. Am I thinking of somebody else? I think they might have a third one. I listened to it once. I'm like, eh, I don't really like it. Um, but that first one and it's coming out vinyl law. They're coming through hells. That's something I recommend. They don't go to hells. Don't get it. Get it I'm getting it regardless of whether it comes through hells or not. So, but I heard it's from what I was told, he's taking just pre orders. I think it's out around June. So, um, looking forward to that. And yeah, that's kind of where that fucking stands on that. Come switch as soon as you know they do. What's the comments about to get in? Later, goddammit.